looks matter. It's terrific. Well, hello everyone. I got a package in the mailbox today from bookstore oldahubelt.com. I'll get to that in a minute. A while back, I ordered a book from bookstoreoldahuvelt.com from Thomas Oldahuvelt himself, I reckon. And it was this one right here. I did a little video on that, and you saw the U.S. Trade Hardcover Edition Night Fire of Echo by Thomas Oldahuvelt. This one was signed, and it came in in excellent condition. I did. I chose not to get it personalized. I typically do when I think of collectible stuff. I usually don't like to have my name on it. And I think it, it comes from seeing other people's stuff and saying, oh, it's signed to you. And I go from wanting their stuff to saying, well, I don't want it because it's signed to you. And that just stained me for life. Even stuff that I don't ever want to sell ever, ever, ever and hope <sighs> one of my kids would keep after I'm gone. I got a young one that says all my books are his forever and ever. Anyway, I still don't want my name on it. I want it signed as though it was a neat collectible item and something that people would want and want and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I got this book in the mail. And then I got an idea that maybe Thomas Oldahuvelt, in fact, would send me UK publishings of the book. So I went on a website and I made a purchase, and sure enough, here they come on the way. Now, I have made uh, a lot of, spent a lot of time complaining about the way stuff is packaged, and I'm not going to do it this time. And the reason I'm not going to do it is because I just am not fair. I don't treat people the same, and I don't hold everybody the highest expectations, especially when it comes to publicly saying bad things. I'll just let silence reign. I'm just going to lay out, and that's it. But I ordered a couple of UK hardcovers signed of Echo, and the only thing they had available of Hex, which was a trade soft cover signed. And again, I requested them not to have inscription, just a signature. So with the packaging the way it is, coming all the way from, where did it come all the way from? The Netherlands, Nijmegen in the Netherlands. This book, this box took a little bit of a beating and inside the box, that's what you see. So I'm really hoping that I'll have acceptable condition of the books. Anyway, hoping for the best. And the first one I'm going to whip out, I'm going to whip it out, is Hex. I read Hex. It's the only Thomas Olda Hoovelt book that I've read. And I'd love to have a true first edition, first print trade hardcover signed copy of Hex. I really would love it. Their website didn't have any. So since I could get signed books from there, I did get this trade edition soft cover from Nightfire. And it is supposed to be signed by the author, Thomas Oldahubelt. I read this book for one reason alone. I had never heard of it, and I'd never heard of the author. While I'm talking, there's our signature. But when Sun Tup Editions, or rumors came out that Sun Tup Editions was going to be releasing Hex, I have the, a, numbered, a number with Sun Tup, and I was wanting to keep my rights, but I didn't want to buy a book that I wasn't going to like. So I went and read the book, and I really, really loved it. Hex was one that, for me, started off slow. I'd say within, by maybe page 20, I was thinking, I don't even have any business reading this book. Honestly, that's what I was thinking. Just, I, it's, it's not my cup of tea. I don't care about these characters. I don't like these characters. I'm not getting into the story at all. But I can't remember exact page count. But page 60-ish, somewhere in there, I really started to get into the book. And my interest gained significantly in a, in a line like this all the way to the end. I really, really liked that book. I was excited to find out how it was going to end, but I was enjoying it every step of the way, not wanting it to end. When I got to the finish, 
it worked for me. Some people have complained, but it worked for me. And I'm the one reading it, so that's all that matters to me. It really worked for me, and I would jump right in to another story written in that town. Anyway, I got my trade edition hardcover of Hex by Nightfire. Some folks ask about font and all that when they want to read. They want to make sure the tired old eyes can see it. That's what you're looking at at the pages there. This one was in the middle, so it turned out to be a pretty good shape. Just a little bit of crinkling out the uh, that corner. That's it. I'm not too. I'm not worried about that. I like that one. The other two are the ones that I was most interested in, and they're the two that were on the outside of the box. So let me pull out one more of these two. Pull out the next one, and uh, I'm gonna cross finger. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, this one, Echo. This is a UK Hotter and Stratton Echo. And you can see my dust jacket is not ripped, but it's taken a little bit of abuse. That's what happens when you put a book in a box and there's nothing truly to protect it. I'm not pitching a fit. It might sound like I'm pitching a fit, throwing a temper tantrum, I'm not. And in all reality, this condition doesn't, doesn't ruin it for me. I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna put these books in mylar, and I'm gonna put them on the shelf, and I'm gonna probably read one of these two, whichever one is in the worst condition. The other one's just gonna go on the shelf, be unread, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the one I read down the road. I don't know. We'll figure something out one of these days. But did I show you? The back is just words, books, words, weird. There's the spine. This UK, <laughs> for my taste, the UK hardcover artwork for the dust jacket. I like it better than the US hardcover artwork, although this is really neat. But this just looks scary. See what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's take all this dust jacket and see what we got inside. I'm going to wait and see what we got inside. So the thing that you might worry about some busted corners, a little bit of a bend on that one, a little bit of a slightest bend on there, a little bit there. That one's pretty good. Let's look at our binding. The the binding as you would expect, expect, expect it. Glued bindings for a trade hardcover. That's what you tend to expect these days. Let's go right on to the title page. And right where it should be is a beautiful signature. Can't read it, but it does look good. Now, what I like, uh, I like first edition, first print books. And I think I understand what I'm looking at. Uh, typically, when I'm looking on the, on the, for, for that, I'm going to look for a number line that goes all the way down to one. This one has a number one. That's it. So I assume that's what they are using these days. To signify, Hotter and Stratton are using these days to signify a first print, first edition. The next book is the same as this one. I'm going to open it up, hoping that it's perfect. Hope it's absolutely perfect. This one becomes a reader copy, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with it after that. Sometimes I just get carried away. I mash them buttons. I say one is good, two is better, and that's just the way it goes. What are you, my tax man? Come on. All right, let's get this one out and see. See how it looks. All right, so on the front, the front of this one, I don't see rubbed up, brushed up dust jacket. There's a little bit of crinkling and a crease there on that one. Let's take this dust jacket off since I've already showed you what they look like. Neither one's perfect. This one might be, might be slightly Slightly better than the other, I don't know. Our book corners, a little bit of a bend on them corners. In a hundred years, who's gonna care? Again, there's the spine. It's uh, bent, rotchier, just a little bit. <clears throat> so I don't wanna say good, I don't wanna say too bad. We'll just let you figure out how to judge the condition, the packaging, and all that. And there's, a, there's another Thomas Oldehuvelt signature. 
Looks good. I really dig that signature, man. It almost looks artistic. You can't read it, but it looks artistic. And in addition to the signature, it has the date 22622. I guess, no. 22622. I can't read it. You tell me what that says. Can you tell me what that says? 22622. I guess that's uh, what I'm seeing. Or 22522. June 22nd. Wait a second. Today is June 20. What is it? June 23rd. It can't say that. Did this guy sign this yesterday? No, it didn't work. I don't know. What am I talking about? I act stupid on the, on the YouTube. There's our... Whatever. The number line again, which is not a line, it's just a number. It's the first. I'm assuming that's how they signify first edition, first print books. And there you have it. That's all I got from Thomas Olda <clears throat> Um, The packaging needs some cushion inside. If these books were wrapped in bubble wrap and then stuck in that box, the rubbing on the, on the dust jackets, in this case, probably wouldn't have happened. They would have been kept in, in better shape. That's all I will say. And that's all I would do when I, uh, when I want to package up a book. I make sure that it can take a beating without getting damaged. Now, if you run over it with a car or something like that, that's what insurance is for. And hopefully you hook it up. Otherwise, uh, what can you do? But that's all I got to say. That's all the lies I got to tell. I'm going to read Echo very soon. I got a list. I got a stack of books I got to read. Maybe I should ask. Uh, I got a stack of books sitting over there to read. And you got the big stack of books that I got to read. And then you got the small stack of books that I want to read right now. I'll grab a book and say I'm going to read this one next. And then I'll grab another book and say I'm going to read this one next. I end up having five books sitting over there that I'm all going to read next. But I want to read Echo. I've heard the way it sounds. It sounds awesome. That's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Say la vie, baby.